<clears throat> it's good to be here. Uh, I certainly have enjoyed myself tonight. Uh, uh, I won't be in your presence here just a few moments. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, go with Brother Ken, Brother Rain, Brother Nolan. I was sitting there in my seat, <clears throat> and you know, when, when I grew up, uh, I can remember Brother Noy. I was probably just a real young, young man. And, uh, I can remember even when getting with Dad and they would go over and, and sit and talk about scriptures. And uh, Of course, I was so young then and, and surely, you know, uh, uh, didn't know anything about the Lord at that time. And, but uh, I can still reflect on those times and when they yeah. were together. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, and I was sitting there also thinking, you know, I can remember uh, uh, even whenever uh, uh, we'd have loved ones that would die, that you know, that they would be times that they would uh, hold the body in their homes, and, uh, uh, and you know, and it, things has changed a whole lot. And, uh, the world's changed, and. Yeah, I can even remember <clears throat> my daddy-in-law would tell me that uh, that he could even remember uh, living in a house that uh, all it had was side parts and just had a roof and <clears throat> their floor was the dirt. And, uh, uh, you know, things has changed an awful, awful lot. And, uh, but you know, there's one thing that's never changed, and that's the Lord. Amen. Uh, that, that same Lord that. Uh, they trusted him then is the same Lord that we trust in today. And, uh, and he, he's, he's been good unto us in this world. Sure he's been good unto us. Sure has. Uh, I, I, I tell you this right here, uh, and I always tell the Lord to people this right here, that <clears throat> the Lord would have been a just God if he would have left me and you in the state that we were in in this world. Amen. And, uh, for I, I tell you this right here, he come to you not to make you a child, he come to you because you was a child. Amen. Yeah. And, uh, I, I, I tell you this right here, uh, eternal life uh, has no beginning and no end to it. And I, I tell you this right here, that you know we've had eternal life abiding right within us. And, uh, and the thing is that the Lord has let me and you know here in this world, He's let me and you know what He has done for us. And uh, I, I tell you this right here, that uh, you know, and there's there's a lot of uh, different uh, types of churches, denominations. I'll say denominations in the world, and and you know, and they all believe in certain different things in the world. And and you know, uh, uh, what come to mind about it was what uh, the Lord said about it. You know, because the Lord sent them out. Uh, by twos, and he give them, he give his disciples power. He give them power to heal the sick, uh, to cast out devils. Uh, he he give the power unto them, and you know, and even whenever they come back unto him, uh, they, they they told the Lord said that they seen uh, a couple there that was casting out demons, and they were healing sick people, and. The Lord told him plainly there. The Lord told his disciples. He said to leave them alone. He said, "For they be for us, are not against us." And you know, and uh, the Lord said that He had a na- people in every nation and kindred and tongue. And uh, I-, I tell you this right here, me and you, uh, uh, we are uh, fruit bearers. Uh, we uh, and we uh, see uh, when the Lord comes into one's life, we see them burn the fruits of the spirit. And, uh, and as we say it sometimes, as we call them uh, fruit, call us fruit inspectors. And, uh, and I tell you this right here, Brother Rain was telling you, a corrupt uh, tree can't bring uh, forth good fruit, neither can a good tree bring forth corrupt fruit. And I tell you this right here, that uh, when the Lord comes into one's life and borns them again of the Spirit, that He becomes a new creature. And I, I tell you this right here, that even the world out there, the people that, that, that you was out there in the world with, the people that you used to run with out there in the world, that whenever the Lord comes into your life, even the people in the world that you was with out there will see the change come forth in you. Yeah. 
And I I tell you this right here, I don't believe in a God that will do anything halfway. I I believe whenever He does something other that it's done forever. And you know, and uh, I I sit and I think about it a lot of times that, uh, uh, you know, about obedience. Uh, uh, You know, and there's a lot of of the Lord's children that have not uh, 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 been obedient in this world. We've all been disobedient. But I, I tell you this right here, when the Lord Jesus Christ was here in this world, that uh, he, he set a path for me and you to follow in this world. And I, I tell you this right here, that uh, he didn't go down to John there to be baptized to make him the Son of God. He, he set a path for me and you to follow. But he done it because he was a child. Uh, he was the Son of God and set a path for me and you to follow here in this world. And I, I tell you this right here, if it wasn't needful, the Lord Jesus Christ wouldn't have done those things. And I, I tell you this right here, that uh, there's a saving uh, in the water out there in this world, uh, as me and you live here in this world. There's a saving in it, Brother Paul. And I, I tell you this right here, that, that the Lord has already took care of mine and your eternal life. Uh, he's already took care of it. For I'm going to tell you this right here, that, uh, that if... Anyone in the world ever sees what heaven of mortal glory looks like, it'll be through and by what Jesus Christ had done on the cross of Calvary and not by anything that me and you had ever done here in this world. For I'm going to tell you, uh, the only thing that me and you had ever done in this world is sin and come short of the glory of God. Amen. And I'll tell you this right here, that uh, uh, you know, the Lord talked about uh, two paths there, uh, uh, they're doing two paths there, and you know, and there's one that's broad, and I'm going to tell you that it leads unto destruction here in this world, and I, uh, but there's one path there that uh, is narrow is the way, and the scripture says that uh, uh, there's few that find there and walk therein, and I'm going to tell you this right here. Uh, I'm going to be just like the uh, Lord was whenever he was here on the shore, walked to shores of time, uh, uh, that he said that he was about his father's business. Uh, and that is the way that me and you need to be here in this world uh, uh, that we need to be about our father's business uh, and you know and I'll tell you this right here uh, uh, the brother was telling you about the law uh, I'm going to tell you this right here uh, uh, there wasn't nothing ever wrong with the law uh, I'm going to tell you the law was just and holy uh, uh, but I'm going to tell you uh, the problem was in me and you uh, that me and you couldn't keep the law uh, hey even Jesus Christ even said uh, he said I'm not come to destroy the law uh, but to fulfill uh, and I'm going to tell you that he fulfilled the law to a job and a tittle uh, they wouldn't have another uh, there was left by none uh, and I'm going to tell you this right here uh, that the Lord uh, that now he's uh, fighting uh, right in his press of our Lord uh, I'm going to tell you this right here uh, that me and you brother Paul And that law, I'm going to tell you uh, that whenever you walk disobedient uh, to what thus saith the Lord, uh, I'm going to tell you this right here uh, uh, that you're going to suffer here in this world. Uh, But I'm going to tell you this right here uh, by the obedience uh, uh, that means you walk here in this world, uh, uh, that you'll eat the good. Here land. And I'm going to tell you this right here. Uh, this is a good land uh, that the Lord has brought me and you to. Uh, and I'm going to tell you this right here. Uh, it was such a good land uh, that the Lord uh, one time come on to Abraham uh, and he told Abraham uh, to leave our father's house uh, and go to a land and I will show thee. And I'm going to tell you this right here. Uh, the Lord told Abraham there. Uh, he said, and I'll bless all those that bless thee, and I'll curse all that curse thee, and I'm going to tell you this right here, if God be for you, who can be against you? Amen. And I'm going to tell you this right here, I'm on your captain, that is Jesus Christ, that he's already known before me and you, for I'm going to tell you this right here, that he went in a tomb in you. He bled and died for me and you. Uh, the stripes that he was struck with uh, was the cause of me and you. And I'm going to tell you this right 
paid the try here uh, that he died at all because uh, that he loved me and you uh, that he had an everlasting love uh, for me and you uh, and I want to tell you this right here uh, the Lord told me and you uh, that if you love him uh, to keep his commandments uh, and I want to tell you me and you uh, we have a few commandments uh, to do here in this world uh, the Lord told me and you uh, the whole duty of me and you uh, to keep God uh, and fear him uh, and I'm going to tell you this right here uh, uh, listen here uh, uh, the duty of me and you is uh, uh, to keep the garden uh, and to dress the garden uh, and to take care of it uh, uh, but I'm going to tell you this right here uh, uh, that whenever uh, uh, he made Adam and Eve and uh, uh, placed them in the garden there uh, uh, I'm going to tell you that they had uh, a law that was given unto them there uh, uh, but I'm going to tell you uh, but even uh, with this obedient uh, there in the garden there uh, and I'm going to tell you uh, there was a tree there uh, that was in the garden there uh, uh, that tree of life uh, of me and Jesus Christ uh, uh, it was right here in the yes, garden amen. there uh, and listen here uh, uh, that uh, uh, even whenever the Lord uh, uh, come in the garden uh, and the cool of the day uh, uh, listen here uh, uh, that he had Has I taken uh, the tree of the knowledge uh, of good and evil uh, that I told you uh, not to take thereof? Uh, I'm going to tell you this right here. Uh, that was punishment uh, that was given out to them. Uh, and I want to tell you this right here. Uh, they separated themselves uh, from, the, uh, from God there. Uh, but I'm going to tell you this right here. Uh, the Lord still blessed the way
And you'll be a lot happier here yeah. in this world. Amen. For I'm going to tell you this right here. Me and you already know that we're going to have troubles. Yeah. We're going to have trials here in this world. But in yeah. Him, we're going to have a peace. But I'm going to tell you this right here about temptation. I'm going to tell you this right here. The, the Scripture says that count it as an enjoy when yeah. you fall in the diver's temptation. Hey. Knowing that the trial of your faith worketh patience. And I'm going to tell you this right here, Brother Kenny, that me and you uh, and all of us that we all need to be patient and wait upon the Lord. And I'm going to tell you this right here. Uh, it's like Job of old there. Uh, you know, and even whenever the old devil there uh, uh, come unto the Lord there, that he said there, uh, uh, when the Lord told him, he said, uh, he said, uh, Whence comest thou, O Lucifer of the morning? He said, I've, uh, I've been going to and fro. Uh, and I'm going to tell you where he's uh, uh, going through up and down, is up and down in this whole earth uh, and seeking who he may devour. Uh, and I, I'm going to tell you this right here. Here, uh, the Lord told him, Mary, He said, Has thou considered my servant Job, uh, the one that intuitive evil? Yeah, yeah. And listen, here what the old devil uh, told the Lord there. He said, How can I uh, yeah, do anything yeah, to him? Yeah. For you have him yeah, in. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, uh, me and you even deny, Brother Paul, uh, the word hedged in, uh, that we're in the same, same place uh, uh, here in this world. Uh, uh, where I'm going to tell you this right here uh, that even the scripture even says uh, uh, the Lord said that no man uh, is able to put them out of my father's hand uh, for the father which give them unto me uh, is greater than all and I'm going to tell you this right here he's going to take care of his children uh, uh, while we live here in this world uh, I'm going to tell you don't worry uh, uh, brothers and sisters uh, about tomorrow uh, tomorrow will take care of itself uh, uh, but I'm going to tell that as me you live uh, live as though uh, this is the last day that you're going to have to live uh, upon this earth uh, for I'm going to tell you this right here be good on one another uh, as you live here uh, and I'm going to tell you that even pray uh, pray for your enemies uh, uh, pray for those uh, that just possibly use you uh, that abuse you uh, for I'm going to tell you that if you just pray for those uh, that love you and those that pray for you. I'm going to tell you the one reward that we have, Brother Paul. But I'm going to tell you this right here. These are just the things that the Lord has told me and you to do as we dwell here in the kingdom. And I'm going to tell you this right here that when you do these things, the happy are ye. For I'm going to tell you this here something about prayer. Before I take my seat here, I listen here. Here, uh, the prayer of a righteous man uh, it will avail as much uh, uh, but I'm going to tell you this right here uh, how he's told me and you to pray uh, that he told me and you uh, to not be as the scribes uh, and the Pharisees are uh, out here in the world uh, uh, where I'm going to tell you uh, the Lord said and they appear before me in uh, uh, the fast uh, uh, that they may have the reward uh, uh, before me uh, and I'm going to tell you the Lord even said if they already have the reward. Uh, but I'm going to tell you uh, that whenever I uh, mean you go pray uh, or go into your closet uh, and pray unto him. And I'm going to tell you uh, that your closet can be anywhere. Uh, but I'm going to tell you uh, the spirit that the Lord has put with him in you. Uh, it'll make moans and groans uh, uh, that this mouth will never be able to utter. Uh, and I'm going to tell you this right here. I uh, do these things. Uh, and the Lord will reward you uh, openly. And I'm going to tell you this right here. Uh, that when you uh, even take a good step in this world, uh, I'm going to tell you to give him uh, the praise, honor, and glory. Uh, for it's already been ordered. It's already been ordered of him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. For me and you, <coughs> me and you don't have anything to boast in in this world. And I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you this right here. There's a few things that do with the Lord hate. And one of them is a proud, proud look. He hates a proud look. And I'm going to tell you this right here. When the Lord comes unto one and kills him dead to the love of those things out there in the world, I'll tell you this right here. I believe you'll take that proud 
that pride right out of me. He took it right out of me. And I, I tell you this right here. There's one other thing. It's in there. And it's in the sixth chapter of Proverbs if you want to go through and read them all. But there's another thing that's in there. He said he hates one that soweth discord among the brothers. Yep. Yep. He hates it. And I'm going to tell you that God is not the author of confusion. Remember that. He is not the author of confusion. So I'm going to tell you this right here. To love one another and to be good unto one another. And I'm going to tell you this right here. There's an old, old saying is if you ain't got nothing other good to say about your brother or your sister, best not to say nothing other at all. So I'm going to tell you this right here. For we're all, we're all in this here together. Amen. Even though Jesus Christ is personal to me, He's personal to you, that me and you all are in this together. We need to strive the best with everything in within me and you to live peacefully here in the kingdom. So I will take this right here in the kingdom. It's had troubles that's come its way. It's had troubles that's come upon it. It's withered the storms, but it's a keeping on and going. And I'm going to tell you, it'll keep on and going without me and you. Don't never, never think that the church needs you. For I'm going to tell you this right here, the church will go on without me. It will go on. I, I tell you that for a fact. For I'm going to tell you this right here, I've seen it already. And, and I, I tell you this right here, I'm just a young, young man in this. And still young in it. And I, I tell you this right here, I've already seen where some was like that, that they thought the church needed. And then they found out that the church didn't need. And I, I tell you this right here, Everything within you always strive for peace. For I'm going to tell you what the Lord said about it. He said, blessed. He said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Strive for peace always. Everything within you. Hope the Lord bless you, Brother Paul. I've done the best I can do.